Paul Rusesa Bagina demonstrated remarkable courage and compassion in the face of genocidal terror. During the Rwandan genocide in 1994, he risked his own life to shelter more than 1,000 fellow Rwandans targeted for murder. His noble and selfless acts have been honored around the world. His life reminds us of our moral duty to confront evil in all its forms. The United States honors Paul Rusesabagina for his spirit and bravery in defending and caring for his fellow man. is the fact that Mr. Rusesa Begina ended up arrested in Rwanda after boarding a plane that he believed was bound for Burundi. Uh, how this happened has been somewhat of a mystery, uh, which I asked you about uh, earlier this week, but I want to play a clip of what you said to your advisors about this, which was, again, somewhat different. Let's look. Is it news that Rwanda paid for the plane? I've seen it suggested. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen a government person confirm that. And... Um, it, bits of hard information that you may be the first person to say, I would be cautious about that because he's looking he's looking for something that they could put out a press release about the interview or whatever. So mm -hmm. he's looking for nuggets of hard stuff. Um, but I think So you thought I, I should have for example said I have no idea who paid? You do know who paid for the plane that transported Mr. Rusesa Bagina to Rwanda. The conversation you had with your advisors was whether, was whether or not disclose it. Who did? Tell me who did. Yeah, but did, did I tell you yesterday that I don't know who paid? I'm, I'm asking who, who paid? The government paid. So the government paid for the plane that transported him. Yesterday in our conversation, what you suggested to me, yeah. if I understand you correctly, was that the government didn't play a role in transport and getting him here, right? The yeah, I told you. Listen, to me. I, I told you that there is uh, a person who was operating with Rusia Savagina for a long time, who was an interest of our public uh, investigation, criminal investigation department, who accepted to turn him in, and the payment was to facilitate the transportation of uh, that man, but uh, of, it was to facilitate the the plan of this man to transport Rusia Sabagina to Rwanda. The government did not uh, play a role in transporting him. It was facilitating this gentleman who wanted to, transport, to bring him to Rwanda. So essentially the government paid for someone else to trick Mr. Rusia Sabagina to come into Rwanda. Yes. The State Department's latest human rights report contains evidence of more than 65 countries holding political prisoners. So many of these individuals are their country's best and brightest hope for a future that's marked by democracy and respect for human rights. Through imprisoning political prisoners, autocrats are quashing democratic hopes and ambitions. That's why it's important that all countries stand firmly against the detention of political prisoners, no matter where they are held, and work together to free them. Let me share a few ways that we do this and urge other countries to join us. We call for the release of political prisoners. We meet with their families and colleagues. We monitor trials. We publish reports to share information about individuals and their cases. In public and in private, we urge all countries, regardless of our relationship with them, to free political prisoners. And we work to build effective pressure through multilateral institutions like the UN Human Rights Council, and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. We also work closely with partners like Lithuania, our co-host in today's event, who is a leading advocate for political prisoners and democracy. Our countries collaborate to hold accountable those who detain political prisoners, including the coordinated sanctions against the Lukashenko regime that the United States and the European Union announced just last week. We also partner with human rights organizations, lawyers for individual detainees, and other civil society actors to bring these cases to light, including through our annual Human Rights Report. But a big part of why we're holding this session is that we know we have to do better. We have to find new ways to mobilize bigger coalitions, exert more effective pressure. 
because we know that sustained pressure can work. Finally to Rwanda. In August last year, Paul uh, Rusesa Bagina, the subject of the film Hotel Rwanda, which many members may have seen, and, the, and a vocal critic of President Kagame, who in fact is suffering from...